When I talk to people I know about the Cuban Five, some of them tell me that they heard their last CD. I said, no. Oh, you mean the basketball team? Twelve years after five men were arrested, and nine years after they were condemned to long prison terms, a lot of people still do not know about the case of the Cuban Five. Think about American men and women who volunteer to go abroad to try and stop violence against this country. They infiltrate terror cells and provide the information to authorities. That's what the Cuban Five did. Only they, they did it in Miami. And the cells they infiltrated were not American haters, but Cuban exiles plotting ex bombings and, and other acts of violence against innocent civilians in Cuba. That's the Cuban Five. You know, and like good, and like good American agents, they pass this information on to headquarters, and headquarters in Cuba pass it on to the FBI so that the Bureau could find the explosives that were destined to harm innocent citizens. Now you think about, just imagine a boatload of explosives coming down the Miami River to some river in Cuba that's designed to harm innocent civilians and possibly foreign tourists and maybe even Americans. Now the Cuban Five risk their lives to save the lives of others. And if they had been Americans, they would have been awarded medals, been become heroes. But they were arrested, tried, and condemned in Miami, where the chances of beginning in a fair trial on a scale of one to 10 were zero. On a hot, very hot Sunday afternoon, I went to Victorville, California, to visit one of the Cuban five. Gerardo Hernandez. It's a big, brave, strong man who believes in fairness and justice. Seven years ago when I met the wives of the Cuban five, I promised that I would do all that I can. Their husbands receive justice. Today, I'm still here to say that I'm gonna do all that I can to make sure that these men are released, sent home to their families, released from these deplorable conditions in prison and sent home to their families. That's what we all can do. We can make sure that justice is served right here. Men who are brave enough to come here and to fight for the safety of their fellow citizens in Cuba. This is the truth about the Cuban Five. The truth that isn't often told, but the truth about what the Cuban Five did. Let us all come together and find and work together to free the Cuban Five. Thank you.